Good morning student. Today we are going to start your new chapter Air and Atmosphere. We know that Earth is surrounded by air. So first we'll talk about atmosphere. The layer of gases surrounding the Earth is called atmosphere. It is a thin blanket of air that gives us oxygen to breathe and protect us from the harmful rays of the sun. Yes, my dear student. In this figure, you can see that thin blue color envelop around the earth that is called atmosphere. It does not give the air to breathe, but it also protects our body from many harmful radiation from the sun because sun emitting many harmful radiation which is very very harmful for our skin now you can see that composition of air atmosphere contain nitrogen that is 78 percent 21 percent is oxygen and remaining part means one percent is other gases like noble gases water vapor and dust particles so major gas is nitrogen and second largest amount of gas is oxygen in this sentence you can see that earth atmosphere is composed of about 78 percent nitrogen 21 percent oxygen 0 0.9 percent argon and 0.1 percent other gases trace of carbon dioxide methane water vapor neon are some other gases that make up the remaining 0.1 percent means in the part of 0.1 percent contain these gases and 0.9 percent contain argon gases now we will talk about layer of atmosphere you can see earth is surrounded by air already we have discussed but there are different layer of atmosphere so today we will talk about the layer of atmosphere and uses of every particular layer for the earth the first layer you can see that troposphere just it is the near the earth then second layer is that stratosphere third layer is that mesosphere and fourth one is that thermosphere and every layer of gases they have a different properties different gases and different temperature so we will talk about every layer of atmosphere troposphere we will talk you can see in this layer it is the lowest layer of atmosphere starting from ground level it extended upward about 10 kilometer above sea level you can see that it is still 10 kilometer from the earth surface we human live in the atmosphere and nearly all weather occur in this layer only most cloud appear here mainly because of 99% of water vapor in this atmosphere is found you can see that in figure troposphere is a very important layer of atmosphere where cloud weather human being are there now next layer is that stratosphere it is a second layer after the troposphere you can see this layer contain ozone gas and ozone gas is the one of the most important gas which absorb harmful radiation which are coming from the sun you can write in your copy above the troposphere lies the stratosphere 
which extended from the top of troposphere to about 50 km above the ground. The ozone layer lies within the stratosphere and ozone molecule in this layer absorb high energy means UV radiation from the sun and protect our earth. Now we will talk about mesosphere. Mesosphere is found above the stratosphere. It is the next layer and mesosphere start at 50 km above the surface of earth and goes up to 80 km. Metroids born in this layer only. I think in the night time you have seen that the burning moving star. Actually it is a burning metroids and it happen only in this layer. You can see in the figure mesosphere and burning metroids you can see that and you can also see the distance 65 to 85 and it is just above the stratum. Now we will talk about thermosphere. In this layer all planets like satellite for the TV channel for the mobile they are floating in this layer only you can see in figure the thermosphere it is just above the mesosphere it is very clear the thermosphere is directly above the mesosphere and below the exosphere it extended from about 90 km to between 500 to 1000 km above our earth surface means how much distance is there you can see here about 500 to 1000 km from our earth and all satellite for the mobile for TV channel and for many activity which are operated by the radioactive wave and all satellites are there so we have today discussed the different layer of atmosphere in next lecture we will talk about different gases and composition of atmosphere with the amount of gases till then thank you and have a nice day my dear student